Today I'm going to show you how to make authentic Danish pastry. I should know, I'm a Dane, you know, sweet, crispy, delicious. Hi, I'm Sune and I'm a food geek. Today I'm going to show you how to make a huge pretzel shaped Danish pastry filled with remonce, which is a filling made from butter, sugar and marzipan. It has a wonderfully fluffy crumb, a sweet, complex and almondy center and a crispy top helped by the pearl sugar and the chopped hazelnuts. Interestingly enough, the dough is made with margarine instead of butter. Normally I'm an avid butter user and uh, eater. You might even say uh, somewhat of an evangelist. But in, in this case, I tested uh, the dough. Uh, I baked one with butter and one with margarine and tested it on 25 people. And uh, the margarine version came out as a winner. The margarine version was remarkably more fluffy than the butter one. Go read my recipe and uh, my findings. Uh, there's a link in the description. I've also left links in the description for the things you might not have in your kitchen. Uh, those are affiliate links, so if you buy them, I will get a little bit of money to run this channel. It's not hard to make, so let's get started. The written recipe, the ingredients and amounts are linked in the description. Add two deciliters of lukewarm water to a bowl, that's about three quarters of a cup. Add a packet of active dry yeast. If you're using fresh yeast, you can add 50 grams uh, and crumble it into the water. Then add three tablespoons of sugar and 300 grams of cubed margarine. Crack one, two, three eggs on top. The last thing is a one and a half teaspoon of salt. Sprinkle it over the top of the margarine. We don't want it to inhibit the yeast just yet. Put a dishcloth over top and leave on the counter for 30 minutes. When the half hour is up, add 450 grams of flour. That's about three and one quarter cup. Scrunch everything together in the bowl. Flour your table liberally and knead the dough. If you get too much dough on your hands, you don't wet them. But just put flour on your hands to get the dough off. That works much better. Add as much flour as you need until you have a nice dough that's a tiny bit sticky, but not dry. Put it back in the bowl, put a dish towel over top, and leave it on the counter for an hour to rise. There's a little tip for you. I use my bench scraper uh, to clean off the table. It's much quicker and much less messy than a wet cloth. Before the hour is up, mix the filling. Add 250 grams of butter, that's two sticks, and 225 grams of brown sugar, that's one and a half cups of packed brown sugar, and uh, 150 grams of marzipan, about five ounces, but yeah six or seven ounces, that won't hurt the filling. Mix it all up with your hands until it's completely incorporated. Leave until you need to fill it into the dough. Now it's time to shape the first pretzel. Flour your table liberally, and I mean a lot of flour. You don't want this dough to stick to your table. Don't worry, it'll reabsorb back into the dough and completely disappear during baking. Now take half of the dough out of your bowl, pat it down into a longish rectangle. Uh, keep flipping the dough over and add more flour underneath to prevent it sticking to the table. Roll it out to about one meters long, 12 centimeters wide. That's about three feet long, five inches. I snip off the edges using a pizza cutter uh, so that it's more square. It really depends on how rustic you want it to be. Then put half of the filling all the way along the rectangle. Try and get it on as evenly so that every slice has about the same amount of filling. Drizzle raisins on top if you aren't uh, against raisins on a biological level. Now it's time to fold the dough. We need to completely enclose the filling so that most of it stays inside during baking. Fold the ends first, then fold the top of the dough a third down over the filling. Crack an egg into a bowl, whisk it up thoroughly and paint it on the bottom flap like you're Bob Ross. This will help seal the dough closed during baking. Then fold up the bottom flap over the filling and uh, tap it with a flat hand to uh, close it completely. Lift it up all along the whole length to ensure that the dough doesn't stick to the table for this next step. Now grab your sheet pan lined with parchment paper. Move the dough carefully to the sheet and shape it into a pretzel. Ain't it pretty? Wrap the whole thing in cling film and put it somewhere warm. Do the exact same thing to the other piece of dough. 
Turn your oven on to 220 degrees Celsius, uh, that's about 430 Fahrenheit. When the half hour is up, take the first pretzel you made and uh, remove the cling film. Brush it with beaten egg, sprinkle it with pearl sugar and about 25 grams of chopped hazelnuts. Put in the oven and bake for 5 minutes, then turn the oven down to 180 degrees Celsius, about 350 Fahrenheit, and bake it for another 10 minutes. Keep an eye on it, if it gets too brown, take it out earlier. Here we go, look at this thing, yum. Now repeat with the second pretzel and voila, you're done. That's how you make authentic Danish pastry. It's not that hard and it tastes great. You'd be able to wow all your friends and family with this, so give it a go. Let's have a look at this puppy up close and personal. Are you ready? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll make your own giant pretzel filled with butter and sugar. Oh, I'm getting hungry. If you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss any future videos. See you next week.